Um, what are we doing here? Let's uh, let's do let's. I tell you what. Let's let's do the top ten list second. Here's we're going to do it in a minute. Here's I, I want to get something off my chest. I've been talking about this sort of uh, semi seriously, but you have to understand something. I'm very serious about this. A couple of years ago, NBC came to me and they said, Dave, we couldn't be happier with you. We couldn't be more proud of the show, and everything is going so well. We would like to redecorate your office, top to bottom, wallpaper, carpet, anything you want, chandeliers, entryways, the whole thing. We'll do it. We'll pick up the tab. You just tell us what you want. And I said, this is a very, very generous offer. And of course, I am flattered, but I, my wants and needs are simple. And I explained to them really what I wanted. And uh, we put together some plans. And, and as the plans got put together, they kept adding things on. How about this? How about a, a shoe shine machine? How about an outboard motor and on? How about a salad bar? How about a, a big roasting spit for meat? On and on and on. And I, finally, I thought, well, okay, sure, this is more than I want or need, but okay, sure, we'll do it. Well, to make a long story short, if that's possible at this point, <laughs> um, Finally, uh, NBC, we hear back. We hear nothing from them, and we're beginning now to hear rumblings. We never hear anything directly from them, so they send like a little weasel emissary down. And we said, whatever happened to uh, Dave's office like two years ago? And they said, oh, we, we couldn't really do that. <laughs> uh, and, you know, it, it wouldn't have been so bad, but they are the ones who brought it up. The jerks here running the office redecoration program. And everybody else got a lovely new office. Morty got a lovely new office and everybody else. So now, as a result, this is what my, my office currently looks like. It's not awful look, but it's, it's kind of like the back room at an OTB. You know, it's, <laughs> see, there's just an ugly carpet and the walls could be painted. And there's, uh, the curtains need to be, and that's, that's Ernesto, my Philippine manservant. But it, there are things that I would, would like to change. So I, I've been, I've been, I've been tormenting and tormenting about this, and, and I, it, it finally occurred to me, if you want something done in New York City, there's only one man to do it, and that, of course, is, is Donald Trump. Take a look at some of the things he's been able to accomplish in his career. <laughs> there, that's the lovely, the Trump Tower right there on Fifth Avenue, and you, you get apartments in there, like three or $400 a month. There's a Donald Trump. The, the first book this man writes, this one, The Art of the Deal, goes right to number one. It's the runaway bestseller. What else has he done? Well, he, oh, the, this is, uh, he's having lunch with Valerie Bertinelli. I don't, well, not a bad accomplishment when you think about it. And he had the New Jersey Generals. Oh, all right, we'll throw that one in. And, and, uh, but look at this next one. Look, now see, this is what I'm getting to. This is an ice skating rink located in Central Park. This is Walman Rink. It's a landmark. People used to love to go up there and skate. So it breaks down, something happens. And for two years, this city, this great teeming metropolis, cannot seem to get the repairs made. So the ice rink is closed for like over two years. Finally, Donald Trump steps in and he says, look, I'll do it, okay? He gets it done, he gets it repaired, and people are skating like literally two days later. <laughs> it, it took him like a weekend to repair Woolman Rink. <laughs> so that's the kind of thing I want Don to do for me because when he was on, on the show, I think he said, Dave, if you ever need anything, give me a call. So. Call him up, and we'll just ask him if he would be interested in uh, this little project. This is Donald Trump. I have a direct line to Donald Trump anytime, day or night. We're very, very good friends. Very wealthy man. He's, you obviously think he's fabulous. Oh, I think, uh, yeah, you couldn't find a nicer guy. Hello. Hello, hello. My name is Dave Letterman. Who am I speaking hello, to? Hello, David Letterman. This is Donald Trump. How are you? See, exactly. See? <laughs> Donald Trump. Don, uh, thank you very much for uh, taking the call. What are you doing today? First of all, where are you right now? Well, right now I'm at a little office, and I'm trying to make another deal, Dave, so I can keep up with you. Where are you right now, Dave? Well, I'm, I have a TV show I do every night here at NBC. Not we bad. Tape, yeah, we tape it every afternoon. Right, So, good. So uh, uh, are you evicting anybody today, Don? No, I don't like evicting people. I don't like doing no. that, Dave. That's one of the unpleasant chores. I don't do that. You, you turn anybody's steam off, Don? No, these are, <laughs> these are only jokes, Don, because you and I know we have a relationship, both uh, private and public, and we're pretty good friends. Isn't that right, Don? Absolutely correct. And, and the last time you were on the show, Don, didn't you say to me, Dave, anything I can do for you, you name it? Anything whatsoever, Dave. Yeah. How's your lovely wife, by the way? She's fantastic. Oh, good. And, and everything's going all right? The empire's coming along? The empire's coming along just fine. Okay. <laughs> all right, Don, let me explain to you what, what I would like you to consider doing for me. It, it's along the lines of what you did for the Woolman Rink. Okay. 
Okay, well, you, that was easy, Dave. Uh, right. You, you stepped in, and, and you were able to accomplish what, for some reason, this city could not accomplish, and you did it in a relatively short period of time, and once again, now people can enjoy this beautiful ice skating facility, and thanks to you, Don, thanks again, because nobody ice skates more than I. Well, good. <laughs> Very good. Now, the project that I have in mind is kind of along those lines. I, for some reason, can't get NBC to make good on their offer to redecorate my office. Right. It's been about two years now, and they're still not coming through. Mm -hmm. would, well, you, would you be interested in this project? I think it would be very exciting. In fact, I can think of nothing I'd rather do, but perhaps you should try going directly and maybe negotiating with CBS or ABC. Have you thought about that? Oh, yeah. I look at your ratings, David, and I know how high they are, and, and yeah. I would say that if you walked over to CBS or ABC, well, you'll have your office decorated very, very quickly. Exactly, Don. That's, that's the kind of thing I knew I would get from you, because I've been getting, late at night, I get these calls from Brandon Stoddard, like 4 in the morning. The guy at ABC calls me, like 4, 4, 4.30 every morning, talking to me about this kind of thing. But what, what I need to do is get the office redecorated immediately. Okay. Uh, and it's nothing fancy. Here, uh, I'm going to put up a picture now of what I'm interested in, and I'll tell you what I, what I got in mind. I just want a desk, just a desk. I want, I want a map of the world, and I want flags. I want like an American flag and an NBC flag, and on the carpet, embossed into the carpet, I want the GE logo. It sounds like an awfully exciting office. <laughs> but I, I think you could knock this out in a couple of weeks. Absolutely right, David, and for you, I'd be, I'd be glad to do that. All I'd right, be and glad listen, to do it. You know, if you want, you can call this little office. You can call that television city if you want. Okay, why don't we do it? We'll call it a mini television city. Perfect, perfect. I knew we could work out a deal. Well, you and I have a deal, and I'll be over there tomorrow to start working, and I'll do it myself, David. How's everything else going? Everything else is going pretty well, and I'll tell you what, Don, from now on, I'll do all my gambling in your casino. Well, I hope so. I mean, all right. I hope so. L listen, have a good night. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you very much, Dave. Right, good David. luck. Bye -bye. All right, we uh, out in here again. We're right back with the Unbeggar Junior.